Hi hey everyone, so I wanted to create this quick video about Docker and how to use Docker build context and with custom Docker files and how to really copy files from one folder to another. So when we had a big project with Docker, then the project had like, I think, 10 different containers. So think about it, if you have your main app and you have 10 different Docker files for each uh, container and that makes your word folder quite uh, messy with 10 different files so we had something like that docker and inside this docker folder we had uh, docker for nginx, docker for php, docker for node, docker for uh, databases, docker for all of the different uh, containers that we had with the specific docker files and the specific uh, config files for each container so that worked great, but when we wanted to push it uh, to production or make something uh, to build the images properly, we got stuck because when you're building Docker, when you're building your Docker file or Docker container, the build context will give you the option to copy only from the build context. That means that if I want to run this and I'm on the build context of node, I could not copy the index.js that exists in the root folder. So that caused the problem. So what we did is simply uh, using Docker Compose, and you could make sure that you have the build inside your container. Not my container name, because this is just an example that I created quickly. And in the build, you can have the context. The context of the build is the root folder. As you can see, the Docker Compose sits in the root. And the Docker file is inside. I'm pointing to the specific file that I want to build with Docker file. So this is how it works with Docker Compose. Let me just move myself. Docker Compose build, and everything works great, and it copies properly. Now, when you want to push and build things for, for production, you need to run the Docker build yourself that means docker build and then the context this is the build context right here and currently is the current folder as you can see the index.js sits right here and then minus f means the file that you're using and i'm pointing into node docker file so that's it uh, this thing caused some pain for me so wanted to share this because i discovered it so why not Maybe I can save a few hours, a few minutes, or even a few seconds for some people, so it should be quite beneficial, so why not? Have fun!